What's going on guys? Braves is here with the second part of my picks for most interesting lists for ETC 2018. So before we go to the final list, I will go quickly through some honorable mentions. So first list, uh, Empire of Sunstall by uh, Wilhelm. Uh, this is Denmark Empire list. Uh, very heavy shooty one. Uh, practically nobody in our team wanted to play against it. It's very interesting though uh, it is a bit of, the, of a gimmick. Um, I know uh, Wilhelm play, played actually something like this two years ago, but he played this with Dwarven Holds by, back then, and I've actually played against it. <laughs> um, he beat me back then, so that the list obviously is, uh, is, is, is quite potent. Uh, I think uh, you, you, you can definitely learn, learn a bit from it, how, 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 can, how much can you max, max out shooting. The second list is another uh, Danish list. It's from Rasmus, that's Undying Dynasties. This is one of the funniest lists uh, on the whole ETC, um, with uh, basically Sphinxes, Stalkers, and the, the Chariots for a bit of scoring and, and support. Um, so as, uh, as I've seen this list play, uh, it's very interesting that Sphinxes can actually counter a lot of things together with Chariots, uh, or Sphinxes can just can just easily uh, take 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 the focus while while Chariots are just busy scoring, and you must always pay attention to where where the st stand stalkers will will come out or when, because if he doesn't roll in first turn, then you are in a bit. Uh, the, if if he doesn't roll in uh, the first time, they can go out. So second turn, then you are in a big, bit of a pickle because you should still have to wait to them wait for them to come because you don't really want them uh, at the back of your lines but then uh, if you uh, hold hold back for long enough then you will not have enough time to uh, to basically uh, get get any points um, I think uh, the problem I see with this list is uh, is that it has some some hard counters and the divination is fighting actually pretty pretty hard so um, I, but 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 I would but I would def definitely recommend recommend you trying it out. Then we have uh, actually the funniest list, <laughs> which is Frederick list from uh, Team Australia. Uh, so it's basically whole ambush and vanguard, nothing else. You have every uh, every unit has ambush or vanguard. Uh, it's quite it, it, it's quite good. Uh, it can really easily deny you deny you points by just. Van, vanguarding up with, with the giants, then just backing up, uh, w w w limiting lim limiting your your threat zone, and then ambushes just go everywhere uh, everywhere they want, so they can just hide at the end, at the other uh, end of the table. Um, I I wouldn't personally play it, but I think it's very very funny, and I don't know if you want to test it out. You probably shouldn't test it out at home, but just le learn that there are uh, very strange lists to come as well. And then um, the Austrian demon, li demon lists, which is thousand char chariots basically, as many chariots as, as you can get, and uh, using the, uh, oh, uh, totally abusing the fact that, uh, that the uh, aspects of the, of the demon heroes work for uh, everyone in the same unit, so you can easily Attach those harbingers to the shrine of temptation or siren chariot, and you and you can build a pretty pretty funny death star out of it. Um, I haven't checked how this list worked, but uh, it was really uh, it was really funny to to, to see it before uh, before the games. It has it, it 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 has pretty decent magic and pretty decent shooting as well. So uh, prob and and the, the mountain sirens, which are one of the best units in demons book. So and there is that. And then um, I will want to present you the uh, my top pick for uh, the best, the, the best and most interesting list at the ATC, which is nothing new. The, the list itself is nothing new, but it's basically uh, Anton's list. For quite some time, he played something very similar for the WTC. Um, he was playing for Team Belarus uh, at the ATC, and at the first glance. Uh, the, there are some details that are funky, like uh, no engine on Torozor, 
but um, after after some thought and after some talking, I think this list is very polished and uh, and I would really enjoy playing playing something like this. So what are the the, the pros? The, the most important thing is that you have 18 inch both BSB and, and general, so you can play play the army very widely, and that's uh, probably. Um, the most important reason why you don't really need the engine and why you don't really need to pay 90 points for it. Um, because uh, if you have an engine, you are uh, tempted to play in the small bubble, but with 18 inch BSB in general, you can play very widely. And, um, and with uh, how fast the units are, um, you can really, you, you can really push, push your opponent. Uh, the thing is, the list doesn't seem so pushy, but if you if you look at it closely, uh, it really has a huge uh, huge offensive potential, and uh, the people may be uh, caught off guard by it. People might uh, play more aggressively when uh, when they don't need to, and then just get trapped. So there's that. Uh, you also have Alpha Carnosaur, which is probably one of the strongest one of the strongest models in in. Uh, in case of pure damage output in the game, and pretty pretty hard to kill thanks to Safar Shot as well. Um, obviously, you have some funny shenanigans like uh, putting the razor razor back slightly to the flank, so exposing the flank to the to the charge, and still being able to shoot because you see that the corner of the unit. So you are basically negating the the rule they have, which seem to make no sense because they they have to stand and shoot uh, if they can. But if you obviously if you expose the flank, then you can stand and shoot, so you can easily flee if needed. Um, then the con is that the biggest con is obviously again uh, the limited magic phase. There are not a lot of spells. Um, you can pick the missiles, but uh, but mostly you just want some combat. You, you, you just want some combat stuff. You and and then in the first turn you just want to uh, put the plus plus with toughness on the carnosaur or the regen on him. Uh, and just and just just to be safe, um, this also seems fairly weak to decent cowboys, and that's why probably you have the legion banner on the uh, on the Saur uh, on the saurus, and you have the palanquin, so the saurus are, are much longer. Um, basically, your your counter uh, like <sighs> the reapers are are. are are AP2 lethal, so maybe maybe they can do something about cowboys, but cowboy, cowboys often will strike before them. So I see I see the problem here. Uh, also, uh, the scoring is not so great. You have three you have three scoring units, but basically it, it could be worse. The, the units are not very fast, but at least they are tough. Both the seven caimans and the big uh, block of uh, of uh, of Saurians is is, is, is is very is very nice, and the thing is that you you can lose your BSB in general quite easily since they are mounted on the, on the big things, and there are not always enough kills on the battlefield to make proper use of them. So uh, so there is that, but I think uh, in, in good matchups certainly that's not that's not an issue. In bad matchups you have to play play a bit more more cautiously, I guess. So. After the deployment part, um, thanks uh, very much to Anton for the help with the deployment. Uh, it was uh, very fruitful and I'm very happy with, with how it kind of came out because I would have probably deployed differently. Uh, as you can see, there are two things I, I, I would mainly want to point out. Uh, this is Caymans on the very, very deep flank, but within 18 inches of the BSB. Since uh, we are go with this list. We are going for the very independent units and the very widespread. Uh, you have the Caymans that potentially can either uh, pin down the right flank a bit more, or uh, if needed, uh, go more uh, to the center uh, to, to to get to get uh, for, and, and the lake that doesn't really bother them. Um, on the other hand, the Saurians are Saurians and Stegosaur uh, practically have to be in the center because of short range spells from uh, from both of them and the Saurians are trying to avoid uh, the lake. Uh, the Chameleons most likely uh, will finish up in position very close to this uh, because then uh, in turn one you can easily chuff uh, 
uh, ch chaff what is needed and uh, be able to push your army a bit harder. Uh, the Carnosaur uh, can can go either in the left or on the right flank, and uh, Rampadons with their high mobility can move 28 inches in basically any direction. So, uh, again, not so much that I would change in this list. Again, um, Binding Scroll here may be useful uh, to um, to have one uh, one crucial phase go exactly like you uh, like you want, but I'm not so sure if this is needed. Um, the Halberd and Bless Encryption um, probably helps with with, cow with cowboys and, and generally other other heroes a bit more, but maybe purely great weapon will be uh, will be enough. Um, and then the spearback probably could be exchanged for another Camleons if needed. Because uh, as you can, as you can, as you could have seen by the by the by the deployment, um, the list is not really about shooting. So the spearbacks are here mostly as chaff. Uh, okay. Oh yeah. And what else can you get? You can probably try getting the bigger units of Ramphalons. I haven't seen them being used, but I would probably try them, uh, since even even four of them are. Uh, even four of them could be could be fit in, in practically any unit, and that's a lot of more attacks. Uh, probably you could also think about getting the um, getting skin the wizard adept. And uh, for me, I personally prefer uh, being sure about my units, so I would maybe pay for the musician on Caimans, but uh, Ant has played this kind of list for quite a while. And he didn't see the need for it, so I'm uh, so I'm going to believe him on on, on that. So um, that's the video. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave me some thoughts in the in the comment section, and I will be back uh, in the next week.